you know, I don't like to call for people's jobs or for anybody to be fired or anything like that. But what I have to say is this. I have to put Coach Brooks, yes, Bowie State basketball's men's coach, Coach Daryl Brooks, two-time alumni, I have to put him on the hot seat. I don't want to, but I have to. And the reason I have to is because the program is not improving. It's not progressing. Truthfully, the argument can be made that it's regressing. And it's regressing after being stagnant for many years. Now, first, I got to give Coach Brooks his credit. Multiple Coach of the Year awards, multiple CIAA championships, quite a few NCAA tournament appearances. So I give him that. But here's the thing. The majority of Coach Brooks' success comes early on. All right, so how's everybody doing? It's been a while, it's been a while. You know, it's been pretty slow, you know. Although I will say that those Lady Bulldogs, they did well in that uh, softball tournament. But the reason I'm here today is uh, actually basketball. So, it was just recently announced that the Bowie State Bulldogs will be extending Coach Brooks basically for two more seasons. He's got to the 24, 25 season. He's been extended basically two more seasons. In my opinion, what's going on is they're saying basically we got this Kevin Durant money coming in. You start off hot in your career, but we've been struggling lately. You got two years to turn this thing around. You got two years to show some growth or you're going to be gone. And that's interesting because that's pretty much the same thing that I said a few months ago. Remember, I did the video. Coach Brooks is on the hot seat. And I broke down his record. And I broke down how he started off very well. But since the hot start, it's been steadily declining. And so I said, hey, man, you're on the hot seat. Basically, the administration agrees with me. Because they basically gave him two years to, to make something happen. Or, listen, if your contract is expiring and they extend you two years... Basically, what they're saying is you have two years to make something happen or you're going to be gone. Essentially, you're in the hot seat, which is the same thing that I've been saying. I don't dislike Coach Brooks at all. I don't wish him to, to fail. I don't wish him to be fired. I actually, uh, is, I'm wishing for success because his success means school success, and that's what I want as an alumni. And what I will say is he has some pieces he has um, a young brother, I think he wears number 23, very athletic, very skillful. Now, the only thing with him is, you know, from what I've seen, from the games I've seen in person, he has to work on, you know, the temper and the attitude. And if I was him, because in my opinion, that young man is, is a Division One talent. If he comes in next season, if he returns to the program, if he comes back next season... He needs to come back in tip-top shape, and he needs to have a jump shot because his athleticism is through the roof. If he comes back stronger and with the jump shot, he's going to go all-conference easily. And if that happens, he could very well wind up in a portal going to a D1, which, hey, if he comes in next year, puts in work for us, help us win some games, and he wants to go to the portal, I ain't going to be mad at him. Hey, chase your dream, brother. But hey, before you do that, you got to put in some work here. Because from what I see from him in person, he is very naturally gifted and athletic. He has Division I athleticism easily. Once again, the issue is attitude. and Is he going to develop a little... Jump shot, that's because he needs a jump. He can't shoot at all. He needs a jump shot, and he needs a little package. Not like dribble the ball all day long, but two, three dribbles, pull up. Make a quick move, pull up. If he can get that down and combine that with his athleticism, he's going to dominate in the CIAA next year. And we're going to win some games. Also, we have I can't remember the numbers off the top of my head. But we have two dark-skinned brothers that are in the backcourt. They got some skill. The issue with them is fitness. 
They come out the gate firing, hitting jump shots, scoring points. But about 10 minutes into the game, they get, they get tired. They get winded. That's when the other team comes back and the other team goes on runs. So if our backcourt, those two brothers in particular, if they can get their endurance up to where it needs to be, to where they can really go, and they can, that means they can really commit to the defensive end and really play as hard as they need to play for as long as they need to do it. We got, we got talent on the team. It's about discipline, fitness, endurance, and just want to on the defensive end. We can make some noise next year. And for Coach Brooks' sake, I hope we do.